At the occasion of Nigeria's 64th independence anniversary, Yakubu Omar Gari, convener of Adamawa Concerned Youths, expressed gratitude for the nation's resilience and unity in the face of adversity. Gere underscored the significance of reflecting on Nigeria's journey since independence and applauded the country's achievements over the past six decades. Despite numerous challenges, he stated Nigeria had continued to thrive, surpassing gloomy predictions from critics. He praised Nigerians for their spirit and determination, which has kept the country intact. Gere noted that although no nation is immune to challenges, Nigeria has made substantial progress, especially in terms of infrastructure. In terms of infrastructure development and social investment since gaining independence in 1960, while acknowledging the difficulties inherited by the Tinubu administration, Gere expressed optimism that the government's efforts will soon ease the socio-economic challenges faced by Nigerians. He emphasized that reforms introduced by President Bola Tinubu are already bearing fruits, including surge in government revenue and a reduction in the percentage of revenue spent on debt servicing. We are all black men here, and we are indigenous people of Nigeria celebrating this country. And I want to make it known to our young people, when we take a look at what the president said in his speech, that young people constitute 64%, 64% or more of this country's population. All we are needing from young people is to stand fast, to rise up and fill up the boots. We have to rise up, we have to get educated. We have to get educated and we have to have all the moral upbringings we need to make this country a better place. We might not have the time, or God might not give us the time to witness a Nigeria where everything works. But we are working forward towards that. We make this country a better place for, the, for our next upbringings. We make this, uh, this country a better place for our young ones so that they will come and reap from the benefit. When you take a look at uh, the world at large, some countries are more than 6,000 years today. Nigeria is a baby nation, just 64 years of age. We, have, we cannot jump to where America is. We cannot jump to where China is. Unless if we work hard, and we remain, remain for, steadfast for that cost of uh, movement. So I want to urge all our people, more especially young people, to show all sort kind of violence. As you can see now, we are celebrating Nigeria at 64 without any sort of shenanigan, without any sort of violence, and without any disturbing anybody's peace. of joy, Nigeria at 64, we are gathered here to rejoice with our dear nation. It has not been an easy task, to be frank. We have gone through so many phases of life for the past 64 years, which even if I am not up to that, but we are grateful to God Almighty, despite the ups and downs, which I believe every nation has his or her ups and downs, which we believe uh, we as a nation, we have our own cross to carry, and to the glory of God, we are being given the grace to carry our cross, and we thank God, we want to thank God for the grace he has given us as a nation. 64 years is not easy. That's why we come out here as a youth, as a one nation, to celebrate with Nigeria. We want to show the world that even in a hardship, we are still grateful to God and we are still proud of our nation, Nigeria. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.